Hi, today we are going to learn flowchart. Flowchart is a type of diagram or graphical or symbolic that represent an algorithm or process. So through the diagram we create an algorithm. The simple meaning is this. So the symbols that are used in the flowchart is oval for start and end and rectangle for the process and the parallelogram for input and output so input output means if you want to read input like C scanf you perform or printf perform that you can perform in parallelogram in flowchart and in the process if you have to calculate something x multiply by y or x plus y so mean if inputs are there and you have to process them for that we use this symbol arrow is used for flow of control from one place to another place for example if there is input is there and you want to go to next process this is diamond flow chart and this flow chart represent decision for example are you first year student then answer is yes or no or that can also be in true or false and the next is connector the small labeled connect circular symbols that is used as connector I mean if some flowchart you have drawn on first page and you want to connect to an another page remaining flowchart for that you use connector that is small circle so let's take one example you have to calculate sum of two integers using flowchart for that first is start and start symbol that is oval now flow the control from start to input the two into integers for input there is a parallelogram so we have written input or read x and y so if you have read input x and y then process it for process you have to use rectangle symbol this rectangular symbol will process x and y so this is for example new variable s equal to x plus y if you have calculated sum so now print it for printing again this parallelogram because parallelogram used for input and output so print s now a process is end I mean through this step you have calculated the sum now in the last there is a symbol again all end so this is a flow chart to calculate sum of two integers so let's take some advantages and limitation of flowchart let's see so advantage of flowchart first it is communication the flowcharts are better way of communicating the logics of system I mean if you have some system and you want to describe to some other person then you use flowchart that is better way effective analysis with the help of flowchart problem can be analyzed in more effective way I mean for example there is a calculation of sum so easily you can check that this is a x and y are inputs and we have calculated sum proper documentation whenever you create flowchart it means you have properly documented everything every steps efficient coding so this is this flowchart create blueprint of any system for example you have to design a software so if you draw the flowchart it means you have created a replication of coding or algorithm so this this that is a blueprint of system next is proper debugging 
the flow charts helps in debugging process if you can find where is the error is error exist there are some limitation of flow chart like a complex logic may sometimes the program logic is quite complicated in that case flow chart becomes complex and clumsy for large system that is very complex and uh, alteration and modification if you have created some flow chart and you want to alter it or modify it it's mean you are you have to redesign the flow chart so that is uh, limitation of flow chart and that is drawback reproduction so re as the flow chart symbols cannot be typed the reproduction of flow charts become a problem because you draw the symbols so this is a problem and you have to draw a flow chart to find greater number between two numbers so for first you have to start then next input both number so for that symbol is parallelogram so read for input you may write read input a comma b you read in a comma b then can we use process no because now you have to compare these two uh, inputs which one is greater so for this you have to use decision symbol which is diamond symbol if a greater than b and it is if a is greater than b false okay then it's mean b is greater value so print b and if true then print a because a is greater value okay now if it is now it is completed we can connect it with and symbol so this is flow chart for finding greater number between two numbers thank you